Wow, it's been long since I had this kind of fun, you guys. I'm trying to make a 13-minute connection from a Schengen to a non-Schengen flight. Oh boy. What's up, travelers from Gothenburg, my home airport. I'm back home, but I was only here for like two hours because I came, oh, let's see. Yeah, I came in on the Qatar inaugural and it's already time to leave. And there's a little bit of a backstory to this video because um, Bombardier emailed me like long ago this summer. And eventually, after months and months of discussing, they were like, okay, how about we challenge you to fly home for Christmas using only Bombardier products? And I was like, okay. After some thinking, I was like, wait, why don't I use Bombardier products to go from my home in Gothenburg to my childhood home and the place I grew up in the UK. I've compiled this master itinerary with all Bombardier planes, hopefully. I hope there's not an aircraft swap. Um, Bombardier trains, all that good stuff. So let's see if I can actually do it. Hopefully there's no changes along the way, but come with me. Um, what a crazy day, you guys. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like I should explain a bit more. I was very, very tired when I was recording this video because as I said, I'd been flying from Seoul nonstop, now continuing on to Copenhagen and then Birmingham because basically, although my childhood home is south of London, I needed to find a way to get to the UK on Bombardier products, also on times that worked, obviously. So I decided that it was probably best to fly to Birmingham because that also allowed me to take Bombardier trains to get down to the little village where I grew up the next day. So what you're seeing here is boarding the CRJ900 in Gothenburg. People call the 757 a pencil. Well, in that case, the CRJ900 is definitely more of a crayon but I just love the long sleek look of it. In case you didn't know it before, I'm very tall. I'm six foot two, so you can see that my head was like high ceiling. In any case, you also saw the leg room in the seat. Obviously I was in the emergency exit, so that's why I had so much room to move around. But I didn't actually record anything from the takeoff and landings of this flight because it was pitch dark outside. All I have here is some footage from landing in Copenhagen after a short 40 minute flight. Wow, it's been long since I had this kind of fun, you guys. I'm trying to make a 13 minute connection from a Schengen to a non Schengen flight. Oh boy. Guys, don't you just love when your flight is delayed and the airport still gives you a bus gate and then the escalator from the bus is also broken? Okay guys, my flight is 10 minutes delayed. There is hope. Okay, made it. That nearly created some big problems. We're now standing out in the cold. There is my aircraft. The same one I took in from Gothenburg. Sorry, I was trying to make a thumbnail while I was talking. That's never a good idea, you guys. Um, but it's freezing and uh, the bus just left, so we gotta check this out. It's such a long line. Oh, you guys, can you see the moon? So beautiful. This is where we're about to board. This feels so deja vu, like <laughs> I just left, boarded and left this exact aircraft. Alrighty, so on this second flight, I was in row six, which is quite far up. It was the first row of economy, and oh my gosh, I had forgotten how eerily quiet the CRJ900 is. It's insane. Like, it kind of sounds when you're sitting in the front like a hairdryer is blowing outside the plane or something. It's so quiet, which makes for such a great ride and sleep. Just listen, I haven't changed the volume or anything. This is genuinely the volume inside the aircraft during takeoff. Okay, so clearly I wasn't planning on talking in this video and re-watching it now and being like, wait, where's my voice? On this flight, SAS actually lets you pre-order food. So I ordered a little vegan snack box, which honestly was quite disappointing. 
They charged me 11 euros for this, and I was like, wait, is this like 50 grams of food? Then, literally before I knew it, we were approaching Birmingham. I slept the entire flight, apart from eating, from Gothenburg to Copenhagen and Copenhagen to Birmingham because the jet lag was just killing me. So, honestly, I think I didn't have an eye mask, I didn't have earplugs or anything, but the aircraft really did help me sleep. Okay, you guys, I'm going to bed. I'll talk to you more tomorrow, but I'm ready to pass out. It's like 5 a.m. in Korea, and I've been traveling for a very long time. Good morning, you guys. I'm here in Birmingham. I had a great night's sleep. Now I'm just excited to get going to London. I have three train rides, three <laughs> train rides today coming up, and um, yeah, it's quite... Like, I never ever talk about trains on my channel. Unfortunately, I don't know too much about them. Uh, when I was little, like I told you in my Draw My Life video, and you should check that out if you haven't already, if you want to know my connection to the UK and all that stuff. But yeah, I used to go like train spotting and plane spotting with my dad. Somehow I knew the plane models, but I didn't know the train models. So anyway, we used to always go to Clapham Junction in London and watch the trains go by. And I loved it so much, but somehow that passion kind of dwindled and airplanes stayed. So it was a little hard for me to figure out uh, like which train models were going where, but I think I did a decent job. It feels kind of full circle to come back here and not only track the planes, but also track the trains since that's what I do when I was a kid. I'm trying to like ease my mind into Europe and be like, I'm not in Asia anymore. What is going on? Oh. Here we are, London, Houston, 5.40 a.m. <laughs> also, here's my ticket, let's see. So guys, we made it to Christmassy London Luton, or London Houston, what am I talking about? Train station, and now the next stop is the Underground, which is actually a Bombardier train. Who knew, seriously? Okay, so apparently I'm taking the Victoria line. It takes us, what, six minutes. It feels so weird to be here. Like the only thing that's really reminding me I'm not here, or that I am here, well, yeah, my head is not here, but the only thing that's reminding me I'm here is the ads on the side, because I'm like, this is so unlike anything I've seen in the last months in Korea and also um, I mean I love London but the tube oh my gosh comparing this to like yeah what I've now been used to in Korea is crazy oh I made it just in time here is the subway line To London Victoria. Uh, I can't believe that like this train behind me is a Bombardier product. It makes no sense to me. How can this be the same company that makes that plane I flew yesterday? And then also now I'm going to be taking an overground bigger train, uh, the Gatwick Express, which is also a Bombardier train. Like it just blows my mind. Um, is the train going to take off or how does this work? Okay, tour Gatwick. Okay, so now comes the part where all of you guys from the UK are going to start thinking I'm so, so weird for all the things I love to do when I'm here. But stop number one. Oh my gosh, I used to have these sushis all the time when I was little. Oh, what should I get? Hummus. So excited. <laughs> mm. Okay, made it to London, Victoria. Yo Sushi is over there, I love that so much. Um, but yeah, this is where I used to be all the time when we went into London. This would be our train. Where is it? There. Come on, focus. East Grinstead. 
But now, just because <laughs> gotta go Bombardier, we're going with the Gatwick Express. Bombardier pulling in. Oh my god, it's like a stampede of people. Okay guys, while we're on the train, I'm gonna do a little Marks and Spencer's haul. <laughs> so, first I found this, which is so cool. It's like a Thanksgiving themed um, vegan sandwich, and 5% of the proceeds go to charity. I also got um, the salad, and this one, which I love. Good morning, so it's 43 yeah. Gatwick Express, we call the Gatwick Airport, and then on to Brighton. With also, the these are classic. I love them so much. Very but not these. A smoothie. <laughs> Okay, you guys, made it to Gatwick Airport, finally. Um, that was uh, quite a smooth train ride, and it seems like it, it continues to Brighton, so apparently you can also take a Bombardier train from Brighton to Gatwick, but in any case, um, I'm gonna try to get a taxi now. It's only about a 15 minute ride to Forest Row from here, I think. Uh, so yeah, we'll see if I can find a good one. Um, but anyway, it's so funny, my mom just called on the phone. And she's like, hello, good morning. And I'm like, yeah, I've been up for four and a half hours. How's it going? So I actually arrived in the south terminal, but I think I'm going to head to the north um, because the transfer shuttle might also be Bombardier. So um, might as well take that when we made it all this way. <laughs> It's about another 35 minutes. Should be there soon though. Look how beautiful it is. There's frost everywhere. Oh my gosh, this feels so, so strange. I haven't been here in the winter for years. Like, I, I used to come here every summer. I didn't make it this summer, so I haven't actually been here for a year and a half. Um, but now I made it to our friend's house where we're gonna stay right here and my mom and brother are already here so gonna be greeted by them hello <laughs> And now I'm here with my brother. Can't wait into better lighting. Hi! <laughs> yeah, so Jacob didn't visit me in Korea. My mom did, but Jacob didn't come. So now he's here though, so that's awesome. And we're gonna have some of our childhood favorite cereal. This is also such like, again, so many random things. Now being in Forest Row for a few days was obviously very special for me, but I realized that you guys don't want to see half an hour of footage from there. So I'm just going to compile a short little sequence showing you the highlights of my two days back home with friends and family. We made it to East Grinstead. <laughs> oh, so oh, Nika just asked my mom to be her best <laughs> maid, maid of honor. Maid of honor. honor. Introducing Jude. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, we're all gathered around the table now. <coughs> Alex made this amazing Balinese curry. Happy Christmas! Our friend Alex, who we were staying with, is an artist, so all the art on the walls here is hers, and if you love it as much as I do, it is for sale. Just DM me and I'll give you the details. I made it to a farm in the town where I grew up. I used to come here all the time when I was little and like take care of the pigs. This whole um, orchard, or this used to be an apple orchard. This here seems kind of random, but it's very significant because in my youth, I'd always walk past this house and they had this thing we called the nature table, which they changed with every season. And it's just so fun to see that they're still doing this after so many years. Okay, we made it to my old school that I told you about in my Draw My Life video. And here is the old mansion, the main building of the school. Uh, which totally looks like Downton Abbey, right? Like, this whole place is just very Downton Abbey-esque, right, Jacob? Very Downton Abbey, yes. It's like Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so dinner is ready. Uh, I'm here with... <laughs> Some people are missing, but we have most of our lovely people from Forest Row. Mika and Nikki. Oh, thank you for visiting, and <laughs> Alex and Jude, thank you for having us, um, and Mom and Jacob, thank you for flying here <laughs> to be with me. So on that note, it was such a wonderful trip. I didn't really get to end it. I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little challenge. Thank you, of course, to Bombardier for paying for the trip. I feel like I should have mentioned this earlier in the video, but... Thank you. It was a lot of fun doing this. And I think I should do these challenges with other companies in the future because that would be just really cool. So anyway, now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's do the drawing for the winner of my Qatar Airways giveaway. Congratulations, William. And now we're going to draw one more. These are all randomly selected from the comments on my last video, which got almost 7,000 comments, which is so crazy. So our second winner is Ashish. Congratulations, guys.